Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a real fun break. 2023 Topps Chrome Disney 100. One hobby box and it's a random pack break, number five. You can see, tell that the next one is already in the store. A lot of fun stuff here. A very big, th I don't think I put the names of everybody in this list. Very big thanks to this group right here for making it happen. And there are the pack numbers right here. But first, I grab that box randomly. But first, we're gonna open up the box and I'm gonna number all the packs. Then I'll do the randomizer. We did, uh, we did a few of these breaks yesterday, a lot of fun. Especially if you are a fan of Disney. I think I am. I feel like most people are. So, it spans like the classics, like the sort of the 90s, you know, generation right there, you know, and some even older school stuff, you know, the modern Disney stuff, Pixar stuff. There's also quote unquote autographs in here as well. And go check, go look at the secondary market. I think you'll be surprised at how well some of these autographs do. I think there was a Woody and Buzz Lightyear dual auto I think it was like to 10 or something like that. And like one sold for like 1500 bucks. Well, another one was going for 2000 or something, active bids on the, uh, on the secondary market where that sort of stuff happens. You know what it is. I mean, I can say it, but I feel like they should give us money before I start promoting eBay, right? Uh, I don't, I think Pluto is just like some sort of cartoony cursive Pluto. that you would, it looks the same as the auto you would get when you go to uh, any of the Disney theme parks. Which I realize that, I wonder if there's only a certain earmuffs if you have kids listening. I'll give you fair warning on that, but. So obviously Pluto is different people, right? But I wonder if there if there's only a certain Pluto cast member who actually knows how to sign Pluto. So that that Pluto goes out and does the autograph signings. Maybe some of the other guys or girls in there don't. Anyway, that's all set. We'll flip back over here, and now we'll run the randomizer. Let's roll it and randomize it three and a four seven times for numbers, uh, for names and numbers. Uh, Chad, what's going on, man? Yeah, I wish there were relics in this too. That'd be a lot of fun. Seven for names and numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We got Will, Dana, Omar. Three and a four, seven times for the numbers. One, two, three, four, Four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, I was gonna say destroyed Star Wars. I don't know. I've kind of made my peace with that. With with Disney and Star Wars, I think I'll. I think I'm just gonna watch what I like and not watch what I don't like, and try not to worry about it. I'm I'm enjoying living in like Mandalorian world right now. Will with nine. Omar with they're making a feature movie, feature film. Omar with six. Craig with seven. Craig M with seven, Craig F with 18, Alan, Last Bot Mojo, four, Michael with one and five, Edward with 16, uh, Omar with 13, Darren with 15, Edward with 17, Denise with three, Chad with 11, Michael with eight and 10, excuse me, eight and 10, Peter with 14, Michael with two, Omar with 12. Now, I'm also gonna do a randomizer for sort by A to Z or sort by Z to A. So we'll use the same dice roll, three and a four, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're gonna sort Z to A. So we're gonna sort Z to A. So that means Will, we're gonna start with you, then Peter, Omar, so on and so forth. So people watching, I, I, the, the, the series, the Star Wars series have been pretty good. I feel like they've just kind of fallen flat with some of the feature films. 
All right. Oh, actually, let me just print out labels for this. Oh yeah, these these Disney cards can be really popular. Are really popular. Can be really popular. So are these goals or not? What's happening here in this King's Lightning game? Okie doke. Where there's a will, there's a way. Peter, you're up next. Pack nine. Good luck. Now these cards also are uh, made in Italy. So like some of the, I think F1, Top Chrome F1 cards are printed in Italy. So you definitely have, there's a different feel in quality in the card stock. All right, so there's Scar, Buzz Lightyear. Love these, look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Nice, Captain Hook, 60 out of 75. Who's the chase in it? Any of the, any of the classic or now classic characters, I guess? Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Donald Duck. You know, the, you know, Elsa and Anna from, uh, from Frozen. Right. Stuff like that. Nice. Uh, what are some other, uh, Lilo and Stitch. Stitch, mostly. Probably another popular character. Yep, just, just the stars, just like sports cards. All right, Peter, pack 14, good luck. There's Ember, I haven't seen this one yet. Ember Lumen, I don't speak bear. Cheshire Cat and Maleficent Refractor. And these will get shipped pretty quickly because all they do is they'll just pack that up, sticker it up. Omar's got a few. Michael, you're up after Omar. Six, 13, and 12. Here's six right up on top. 12, 13. Good luck. There a big storm coming up the Atlantic coast, Kim? There's Dory. Dr. F Facilier. There's Peter Pan. And there's Stitch. There's Stitch dressing up in... Yeah. Look for the bare necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. There you go, Omar. Nice. I think Omar's kids... Big fans of Stitch, so those are always fun. Maleficent, Ursula, Bambi, and we got Belle. 80 out of 399. One of my favorite movies, Beauty and the Beast. The animated version. I haven't seen the Emma Watson version. But uh, I should see it. I think Emma Watson is kind of easy on the eyes. Although I think the common criticism is while it's it's admirable that she sang all the songs, that weird singing voice is not, not, at least not up to par for, for a feature film. Sometimes people feel like this after a group break. I try not to feel like that, you know? And we've got, ah, that, this is an iconic moment. What an iconic moment. Watson, greater than symbol stone, I would say. 
Little town. It's a quiet village. Every day like the one before. All right. There you go, Omar. There goes the baker with his tray like always. Oh, Michael got a lot. The same old bread and rolls for so. All right, we got one, five, eight, ten, two. One, five, eight, ten, two. One, five, eight, ten, and two. That's right, that's true, Kevin. I feel like, uh, I feel like Emma Watson does embody uh, those, you know, those bookish, bookish uh, characters that I, that I do like, Hermione and Belle. Wally. Mike Kwiatkowski and 101 Dalmatians, 46 out of 299. If someone knows the name of this dog right now, without looking it up, in the next five seconds, I'll give you a million dollars. All right, there you go, Michael. Nice to see the numbered cards. Nice, Edna, Frozone, Incredibles is incredible. Yzma and Kanai. I think that's the movie where, where the old lady says, I don't speak bear, when he turns into a bear. Which is, which is a hilarious line, much like sorcery in Frozen. Oh, speaking of Frozen, there's also sorcerer. There's Rapunzel. I feel like there's some good songs in that. I think Manny Moore did the voice. Mickey Mouse classic and Judy Hopps. Nice, from uh, Zootopia. That's a great one. If you have not seen that, really good. Good coming of age story, good, uh, good heist film, good, uh, good more than meets the eye kind of things. Cinderella, classic. Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa. There's Scrooge McDuck. Kip would love to see a one-of-one one. Scrooge McDuck. That would be pretty cool. And this is an iconic moment. I don't know if these could be numbered or not. I haven't seen any, but... All right, last pack for you, Michael. Good luck. Let's see what else we got. We got, oh, I just can't wait to be king. Ratatouille, that's a classic as well. Donald and deep in the hundred acre woods where Christopher Robin plays. Winnie the Pooh, one of my favorite characters. All right, thanks, Michael. Um, who's up next? We got Edward, you're up next. As soon as I pack away this stuff. Enchanted neighborhood of Christopher's childhood days. A donkey named Eeyore is his friend. And Kanga and Little Root. There's Rabbit and Piglet. And there's Owl. But most of all, Winnie the Pooh. I don't think Mickey is public domain, Kip. Not yet, anyway. Winnie the Pooh is. Remember they made that Winnie the Pooh as some sort of crazed killer movie? Denise, you're up after Edward. 16 and 17. Oh, Steamboat Willie? Interesting. There's Miguel, Jiminy Cricket, Flick, and Barely Lightfoot. I haven't seen this one. I was recommended that I should see this. 
The greatest cartoon of all time, like an animated series? Or an animated feature film? <laughs> right. There's a Judy Hopps, Fox and the Hound. That's a great one. Wreck-It Ralph. There's Prince of Penelope. And The Evil Queen. 160 out of 399. Oh, more top loaders. Series show, either or. If, if, I, if I like D&D, &D, I'll, I'll like Onward. Is that a requirement, though? Could I like it even if I'm not familiar with Dungeons & Dragons? I feel, like I, I feel like in a different world, I could be, you know, I feel like I'm D&D curious. Yeah, show either, I mean, there's so many. There's different eras of animation too, like the Hanna-Barbera 60s, 70s era, then you got the 80s era, you know, Denise with three, who knows, like there's, Japanese animation, that's there. You got, you know, like, then there was the 90s era, the, you know, new classics of the 90s. Dumbo and Yzma, 198 out of 299. There you go, Denise, got a numbered card. So it, it's, it's tough to really say. You know, from a historical perspective, you know, stuff like Oswald the Rabbit back in the day, Felix the Cat, and Disney animation, that kind of revolutionized things. Snow White blew people's minds. Beauty and the Beast got a nomination for Best Picture. You know, then Pixar was Game Changer. Hard to say which one is like the best. All right, Darren, pack 15, ka-chow! Lightning McQueen. We've got Moana. we got Under the Sea, Sebastian. And there's Stitch dressing up as one of the 101 Dalmatians. Nice. Crazy Stitch. That's a movie I need to revisit. I, need, I haven't seen that in ages. Thundercats. Thundercats is great. Thunder! 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 And I, I also love the, uh, the musician, Thundercat. All right. Craig. Oh, Craig M first with pack seven. Lafu, I'm afraid I've been thinking. Dangerous pastime, I know. It's Hades, there's Zerg, and not much here. Not Captain Hook. Yeah, there's at least one pack that doesn't really have, like, not even a refractor. Sorry, Craig. Eeyore. We got another box of this in the store, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get in on it. These are a lot of fun. Just a little something different than chasing after athletes. You can chase after Disney characters. Craig F with pack 18. T I W G Er. Luca. Alice in Wonderland. And. We've got iconic moments. P. Sherman. What was it? P. Sherman. 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. That is an iconic moment. All right, Craig F., there you go. Two more packs left, another box in the store. Um, in case you're wondering, we did pull a, uh, we did pull a dual auto a couple boxes ago, 
And that was uh, Nemo, Finding Nemo and His Dad, Marlon. All right, Chad. Thanks for your patience here. Pack 11, good luck. There's Sid, The Incredibles, Stitch, and Refractor Flick. Nice. Bugs Life. That's a good one, too. Real good. All right. Flick, Refractor, and Allen. With the last pack and last pod mojo. Let's see what happens. Thanks for waiting. <laughs> there might be a series two. All right. Let's see what we got. We got Goofy. Yeah. Woody. There's a snake in my boot. There's Baymax. And off the page, Goofy. Nice. That's a that's a nice animation insert right there. All right, a lot of fun stuff, boys and girls. Pretty friendly price point, and if the secondary market is something that you're also interested in, you know, some of this stuff could go for a lot. All right, thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next Disney break. Bye-bye.